As most of you are aware, on September 30th, 2022, the Singapore government just issued new tightening measures to the property market in response to the rising interest environment and high home loan prices. For the benefit of those who are not in the loop, bank stress test has been upped by 0.5% to compute the TDSR, NMSR and private property downgraders will have to wait out 15 months before being able to purchase a non-subsidised HDB flat. Except if you're 55 years and above, there is a more relaxed exception. So, are you one of them affected by any of the measures mentioned above? Hi everyone, I'm Eunice and welcome to today's educational video. I'll be touching on a few pointers on the new cooling measures just announced by the government. Number 1. By raising 0.5% to the medium interest rate from 3.5% to 4% to calculate both TDSR and MSR, it will mean that there will be a reduction in the home loan that can be obtained from financial institutions based on borrowers' income. Before I continue further, let me briefly explain what TDSR and MSR are. TDSR or Total Debt Servicing Ratio is applied when you are buying a private property where banks will cap 55% of your monthly disposable income. MSR or Mortgage Servicing Ratio applies when purchasing HDB flats where 30% of your disposable income is capped to calculate your loan eligibility. Here's how it actually works. For a 35-year-old applicant who is earning $8,000 per month, Based on old ruling of using 3.5% to calculate, buyer is able to loan up to 980k based on 55% TDSR with a 30-year tenure. However, with the new ruling of 4% floor rate, the buyer is only now able to borrow 920k from banks. There is about 60k drop in loan eligibility. Let us take an older buyer just to see what a difference the loan drop might look like. 45 year olds buyer with also 8,000 monthly income, based on old ruling, maximum loan applicable is 760k. But based on new ruling of 4% floor interest rate, he is now only able to borrow 728k, which is about 30k in loan reduction. So from the calculations above, I would say there is not a great drop in loan quantum based on the rise in floor rate by MAS. But it signals the fact that buyers will have to top up more cash or CPF to purchase the property that they like. Number 2. The 15 months without period after selling a private property. This new measure came out as a surprise as compared to the 4% floor interest rate. This will mean that downgraders who have sold their private condos will have to rent a place to stay or shelf their initial plans of moving into a HDB flat for this time being. That being said, if you are aged 55 years and above and looking to purchase a 4-room flat, HDB or smaller, this 15 months wait will not apply to you. What we can deduce from this particular government measure is that they are mainly targeting to lower the prices of 5-room and EA HDB flats. From the chart that I am now showing, which is the number of BTOs that are launched by year, you can see the differential colour graphs each belonging to different rooms HDBs. Now, you can visibly note that the yellow graph belonging to the 5-room and EAs have a way lower supply compared to the lime green 4-room flats. It is the rarity and high demand that caused the 5-room flats and EA prices to continuously hit new highs for the past couple years. My take is that the prices for the 5-room HDBs will still have the potential to go up due to the low supply in the HDB resale market. Hence, if you are looking to purchase a HDB flat, you can consider opting for a 5-room as the demand for a larger space will always be there. That's all for today. If you find today's video content useful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more video updates. Me and Alex contacts are below and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye!